I think uh, uh, at 70 kilo, he's uh, the best weight that suits his body. So um, for me, just walking on the pads with him, he just seems a lot sharper, a lot faster. Um, he hasn't lost, like for me, I, I don't feel like, I, you know, I don't feel like he's lost any power and he's, he's, he's gained a bit of speed. So um, yeah, I, I just think this, this is the way he should fight and he should have always fought at. And I think I think we're gonna see the best Connor. I think it'd be easier for it to give me a difference in the lead up to a fifty five fight than in the lead up to a 45 fight. And uh, we just finished the session there, we're 10 days out, 10, 11 days out. And normally he would be working on a massive calorie deficit at this stage, trying to lose weight. Now we don't have to do that. Now he's, now he's uh, pretty much having as many calories as he needs in order to train. So it was great to be able to do a session with such high intensity, 10, 11 days out. The way he's training now with the doc, and the doc is monitoring, you know, monitoring all his levels and stuff like that. He has to stick to the, the regime. He takes the days off when he when he when he has to. He's in when he when he has to be in. It's regimented, and uh, I, I think we're seeing uh, huge results from that. You know. Routine, routine, routine. Um, this was always my way. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sort of a routine type person. Connor's more flowy and artistic and kind of just does things as he feels it's the right time to do them. Um, but uh, he, he has seen the benefit of it as well. And it's just so easy. Like for the last month, for the last few months now, I could tell you six weeks in advance what, this, what today's session was going to be. I knew this from, uh, we started uh, uh, September 30th for this training camp and I knew what today was going to be this far away so yeah I, ju I just like routine I like things to be measured I like to know where I'm going to be in each day and um, it's it's paid dividends it did in the last fight and we've continued on to this one. The game plan that we came up with for, for the for the Diaz fight was flawless you know um, you know walking the legs uh, I, I, I just think everything he stuck to the game plan and everything went well using the, using the jab and stuff like that so, you know, it, in my opinion, it, we didn't really need to take out in front of the, the, the game plan, did what it was supposed to do and, and we got the results. You know, at the end of the day, like, people are still yet to see how good Conor is on the ground. Like, he is, he's a high-level grappler. Like, you know, just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Um, and I, yeah, I definitely think Alvarez, if he's a smart man, he's gonna wanna, he's gonna wanna wrestle, wrestle with Conor. But uh, yeah, Connor has submissions there. He, you know, Connor has all the tools, and the same. He has to get past those shots in order to get into that clinch range. And that's, I always say, Connor has 25 minutes. They hit you once on the chin. Those odds are in his favour, they're not in your favour. First of all, on, on Dylan come to SPG, it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, you're never too sure when someone comes in uh, from another place what their personality is going to be like. We've had a lot of people visit here, obviously, over the last year or two. Some guys you have to, after a day or two, ask them to leave. They just they just don't fit in. They don't. They don't understand what it is to be a training partner. They don't understand what it is to be part of a team. Uh, Dylan, I just felt was was like a, f a friend for years that I hadn't met yet. Um, reminds me a lot of, of Gunny in, in, in how he goes and how he holds himself, how he goes about. Um, you know, he's one of the very few people that I would have stay with me. He's been living with me in Orland now for the last couple of weeks, and uh, it was a real honor for him to ask me to travel with him to England to for Polaris. Um, 
I, I'd, I'd be 100% honest. I just sat in the corner quiet and watched. Uh, he's far more advanced jiu-jitsu than me, so I just, I just enjoyed it. Walking between three gyms at the moment now. So I run the kids' program in, in, in SBG Concord every day of the week. Uh, for a huge kids' program over there. The, the standard is, is amazing. Then I come over to SBG Charlestown. I do classes every morning here and, and most evenings. Um, we've got a good few new fighters coming out here that are doing um, they're doing really well like they're amateur levels um, we have uh, obviously Dave Fogarty Ryan Curtis uh, Ian Cleary making his pro debut on Bama um, yeah so um, and new beginner programs starting here every month I also have um, my own smaller gym opening in Malahoyed when I get back after the, the, the uh, after Connors fight um, uh, on the marina in Malahoyed on Roddy MMA so Going to be going to be starting classes mid November there as well. So yeah, I'm flat out, and uh, you know if anybody wants to train or wants to do that, just hit me up on Facebook. Yeah, I mean it, it's an individual sport, but um, it's kind of like uh, people have seen the uh, SPG Ironman. I know what our Jiu-Jitsu gyms do as well, and they ask like, what's that about? You have to roll with everybody in the gym to get your belt. And really, what it is is it's a kind of a tip of the hat. It's a nod to your teammates to recognise that it was actually them that helped you get the belt. Uh, nobody became a jiu-jitsu black belt on his own, not rolling with anybody, and nobody can fight to a high level not having teammates willing to put you first and and, and, and go out of their way to help you and meet you for training sessions. And uh, I know Connor's very, very appreciative of that, and I just wanted to give a shout out to you know to the teammates as well, uh, and, and to let Connor know as well. Not that he doesn't, but I don't say it often, I'm not that type of person, that we're all very proud of him, and we're all very proud to be able to call him a teammate.